Hey y'all, welcome back to Andy's Little Homestead. We're not at my homestead at this point. We're at my lady friend's house. Finally getting to test out the plow. We've got about six inches on the ground so far and I couldn't wait. We gotta do it now. Part of the reason I wanted to test it here was because there's a little bit of a hill. So I'm gonna see how it does without it having been plowed first, going up the hill. Well, first. Trash cans fell over. We're gonna shoot the gap. Nope. So now I got a fun snowbank at the top of the driveway. Let's see if we can bust through it. I should probably move that. So the phone kept falling over. I'm gonna try and give you all a different view. So it probably took a little bit longer than it should have, but we're done. Got all that cleared out and kind of played around with it for a little bit. I would give my snowplow operating abilities a solid C minus. But you gotta learn somehow, so trying it out. Oh yeah, I definitely got stuck once. But I was able to get it out without the winch. Just dug the snow out from around the back tires and she was good to go. All in all, I think the truck performed pretty well. She is bleeding a little bit. That's okay. It's an old plow. An old truck. A system that I designed. You could put a, you know, $10,000 Boss V plow on the front of a brand new truck and it would probably perform better. But for what I've got into it, I'm happy. I think this is about the worst driveway that I'm really going to encounter. Uh, I'm sure there will be more and now I have a better idea as far as planning it. Just a little bit better. Thank you all for watching. I know it was kind of a short one, but I also know a lot of people were kind of wondering how it was going to go. And I would give it a solid okay. Sometimes good enough is just that. It's good enough. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. God bless.